there. We are Claire and Nick Butcher, and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. You may remember earlier this summer, um, I fixed a tile on the other side of the roof. Well, we've had a couple of days of uh, quite intense wind and I've noticed at the top, a couple of tiles have slipped on this side. Um, bit of a pain, but I can get that fixed. Oops. Um, okay, so the camera fell down so you didn't get to see it, but I pushed one back into position, but the one next to it there is actually cracked in half, so I'm going to replace that tile. It takes quite a while to get the scaffolding over here set up so I don't fall down, but uh, it's worth it. Um, anyway, two minute job when I'm up there and it's all done. So hopefully it'll stay okay for a while now. And the first thing this morning is haircut time. It has started with a number four on the top, and we're going on to a number two on the sides. Job one, done. You look a, little, a lot younger, you don't look as... I am young. Yes. I'm only 35. I've had a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> This morning I am starting off in the sheet and yesterday I gave everything the once over quickly after my parents stayed last time. They are staying again today and there's a very good reason. It is Mother Dearest's birthday. If you are into bingo calling, I believe the term is hockey sticks for this one. Um, for her birthday, we have got her a present, of course. Mother Dearest does not own a swimsuit uh, and Father, I think, owns some trunks but they could be back from the 70s and let's put it this way, in modern terms no one wants to see their father in budgie smugglers so for her birthday we got my mother a swimsuit and we also got my father some swimmer shorts Everything is ready to go in here I've put a fan in here today because the temperature outside is due to get to 40 degrees C. It is already over 30. I won't go into graphic detail this week about sweat, don't worry. <laughs> nice. So it is, it is Mother Dearest's birthday today, as I have said before. And we think that uh, Father has forgotten. No, we don't think, honey. We know. We know. <laughs> what do you think of your television? Bye-bye. Yeah? <laughs> you can watch YouTube now. <laughs> Quick mini update. One of the jobs that you haven't seen us doing this week is installing the television in the sheet. 
got a telly. Yeah. <laughs> we got a telly. Uh, so what? Hang on, hang on, let me up. <laughs> what day is it today? <laughs> it's Manlo's birthday. <laughs> had a lovely afternoon in the pool haven't we we have mother got to ride the big blue cock for her 77th birthday and now where are we going cognac and where are we going to we're going to the top <gasps> well we tried to take mother to the top of the martel building for a couple of cocktails for her birthday but apparently they're closed today because it's so dangerously hot mother is disappointed but we'll try and find alternative arrangements. You know that quarter pint of brandy that you had on Sunday night? Do you know that was gone in 20 minutes? And you had to watch their video again because you forgot it. I do not. I just, I take all the... I look through the first time and see the mistakes he's made and then I correct it. We managed to find another cocktail bar that was equally just as good, just slightly hotter and not rooftop. But now we are down near the river at Cognac. Have you had a lovely birthday, Mother? I've had a wonderful birthday. They get better as you get older. Good. Thank you both. Are we looking forward to next year's birthday? Yes, we certainly are. And whose birthday is it next? It's mine! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the riffraff are gone until next time. Back round the pool um, at the hen end, and this is where I made the pen a few weeks ago. So when I was doing this, we were having a look at the wall here. Now this is the wall that backs onto the barn, where inside there we've got the water tank that's full of water, almost, from the rain recuperation. This side of the wall, got a bit of damage there. Well, so it's made of stone, like all the walls are around here. Uh, but they seem to have washed away somewhat. So there's quite big gaps in there. Now, this stuff here is a concrete render that somebody has done at some point. Now, I don't know if that's repaired previous damage or, or has created this extra damage. By the way, concrete render isn't the best thing to put onto a stone wall anyway. Um, today, I'm going to try and find some stones to, to put in the wall there with lime and sand as the uh, the cement kind of product that I'm going to use today which is breathable and it's correct for here so I'm going to fill the wall and then uh, yeah it won't fall down especially with the weight of all that water the other side and some of these holes are quite deep look at this Right, well I've got everything together, got the steps, got some lumps of stone, got my trowel, got my gloves, just 
need to go make up a mix of lime and sand and then I'm gonna start filling that hole in the wall. taken all of that mix it's really weird because I'm pushing it in and it's just finding its way through to other little cavities within the wall um, quite a lot of it there so I think what I'm gonna do certainly I'm gonna leave it overnight probably make another mix up in the morning um, and carry on filling it before it gets too hot, it's a deshettery trip. Yay! Yay! If you are in England and you're at the tip, normally if you see something, you can take it away with you. You can either ask permission or you can ask the person who's dropping it off at the tip. While in France, you can't just take stuff. Sometimes they don't want you to take stuff and sometimes there's nothing to take. Over here we have cardboard and over here we have wood. Over there, that looks like just a mixture of general rubble and rubbish. And somewhere in the distance is green waste. And that concludes our time at one of the greatest places on earth, <laughs> the tip. And of course, we have had a quick baguette stop. <laughs> Very French. this afternoon and after my chili harvest the other day <laughs> I'm doing some things with the chilies I collected firstly I have some lovely fresh chilies I put these in a container and I'm just gonna pop these in the freezer the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chili oil now I've not really got a neutral oil in the house like a vegetable oil but I do have an olive oil which is not extra virgin so I'm going to use this instead. The reason why you would ideally use a vegetable oil is because it's got a lower smoke point than what this does. So here I have 13 chilies washed and then just all really finely chopped up and I also have this very funky bottle which is sterilized. I now have my oil and my chilies in a pan the heat is on and I'm going to gently heat this until I see tiny little bubbles. And there we go, tiny little bubbles. And now off the heat, left to one side to cool, I've given it a good stir and yeah, just leave the whole thing to go to room temperature. And once it's cooled, you can then decant it into 
a jar or a bottle and you want to put it somewhere dark like in a cupboard and it'll keep for two to three weeks really good on pizzas and on salads one quick little job that i'm going to get done this afternoon is i am going to plant the two urns at the top of the pool oh, it's so hot oh here we go one last look unplanted the pool boy has just uncovered the pool for today i think it could do with a bit of a a sweep five minutes later and just as quick as that another little job ticked off the list oh lovely all right well thankfully it's a lot cooler today um I've just wet it down the wall over there again, um, where I was filling it yesterday. Um, hey, just got to go and get another mix made up and uh, we'll carry on filling the hole. Okay, well I've filled uh, many more holes in the render that you can see behind me. Um, it's not finished yet because the weight of the render is pulling itself out of the wall so I need that to go off before I can put another coat on. Um, whether that will be afternoon, today or tomorrow, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh... Okay, well whilst I'm letting that lime and sand go off on the wall down there and harden up, Come down the other end of the pool, there's a little, one of those niggly little jobs to finish off down here, which is around these plastic bits where I've cut. I need to point in around there, so a bit fiddly, but it needs to be done, so that's what I'm doing. Well, that's a bit fiddly, but I've done that one, that skimmer, that electrical thing, that skimmer, and then I've run out of mix, so I haven't been able to do that cover over there yet. I don't want to make any more up yet because I want to wait for the mix that I put in the wall down there to go a bit harder first, and then I can make some up, do that, and then carry on down here. Flora May, what are you doing in that sandbag? <laughs> There's nothing there. This morning I'm in the rear walled garden and I am doing a little fun job. And behind me, oddly enough, there is a wall. Now, previously we had painted behind the greenhouse, but we hadn't painted any of the wall behind me because it needed some patching up and repairing, which Nick has been doing. And over here near our hen pen, you can see on this wall, at some point there would have been a window which has been bricked up and there was a smaller window on top which again has been filled in by breeze blocks. No we are not going to reinstate these windows because behind here are the huge wine tanks and we're not taking them out at the moment nothing's happening with them they are water storage um, but I'm going to try and jazz this up a little bit
have it. We've got another mix on. Um, so this we're going to use to finish off pointing of the, the bits around the pool. And then I should be able to finish off doing the wall where I've been repairing the wall. And then we've got something else that we're going to do with the rest of it, hopefully. finished off over here I finished off a bit of wall over there so the other thing we're gonna get done today is here the entrance um, so what we're gonna do is, is put some uh, a layer of lime crete like concrete but maybe lime um, and Claire's gonna decorate it so uh, yeah let's see how this comes out Between my painting jobs this afternoon I am also going to finish this step off. You must excuse the overly loud chicken in the background or hen who is currently laying an egg. I like to walk along the shoreline and collect tiny pieces of sea glass. It's one of those things that just genuinely relaxes me, chills me out and I've ended up with an awful lot of glass. So I'm going to use this to make a mosaic on that thing that Nick's just done to level it out. It's really distracting chicken. So the first thing that I have in my pocket is some gloves because last week when I was pointing, I forgot to wear gloves and I have taken all of the skin off of my fingertips. It's been a good week. Whilst my mosaic is drying, it's back to painting the wall. Yay! I'm going to stop and I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to wait until I've done all of the little finishing touches and then show you. <sighs> a bit windy. What are you doing in that big bag of sand? Do you like it? Do you want a sand pit? We're ready to go to bed. I've seen something horrific that Nick has to deal with. There is a giant spider. He got it. We can all sleep soundly.
Welcome to Wine of the Week. And we're back on the wine. I have found a very special wine. Caught her eye somehow. <laughs> for this week. I cannot say the name of it on camera. I can... You can in a French accent though, can you not? I, I could do, but I think that you should say it in a French accent. Or you can just read it yourself. No, 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 I want an accent now. No, don't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Come on. Little Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Malbec and it is called Little Lucy. <laughs> 14%, so it's quite powerful. And it says on the back on the label, all in French, that, that you should drink it with grilled meats and things like that i do like especially how the little cherub is giving it the uh, the middle finger what an excellent bit of marketing fantastic i'd buy more of these <laughs> well i suppose we should probably try and drink it and see if it's <laughs> see if it was worth whatever we paid what did we pay for it uh i think this one was six euros Pricey. Well, see, wine should be going cheap because apparently the, the, the French government are going to pay loads of vineyard owners to get rid of their wine this year. Ooh. Don't have to pay me to drink it. <laughs> anyway. Any, anyway. Been a, been a remarkably hot week again this week. It's, uh, it's now passed, but yeah. We didn't get much done because of the heat. I think that we could have been more productive, but yeah, it's been... The pool won. The pool did win. It did, especially with the old 40 degree day thrown in every now and then. Yeah. yeah. With having the Nordic ginger gene, I do not do very well in heat or sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> or if she's fed after midnight. <laughs> no. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, <laughs> there's a subscribe button and you can become one. It's free and, and yeah, it's worth doing. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on in. Oh. Not a strong pull-out game this week. <laughs> Ooh. We've not let it breathe. No. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, malbec -y. Ooh, I, Oh, I like Malbec. It smells very much like a red wine. It's got a bit of pap power to it. <laughs> well, I'd have that again. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> well, until next week. Cheerio. <laughs>